think I've figured out why there are two L's in the name I'm Alex. Cause this guy, he can't stop taking L's. This is the second ex-girlfriend allegation and there's also a third one. Mind-blowing stuff, let's check it out. I feel like honesty is important on YouTube. But when it actually matters, when you should lay down like a good dog, you don't do it. Maybe I'm being too honest, you know, but... I'm gonna bash your against the wall with a brick if you don't shut the up. As always, innocent until proven guilty. This is an allegation, not a true fact. Now let's get into the video. So this is the accuser we're dealing with, Annie or King Annie. I don't know why she goes by King, but uh, it's cool. And she's saying, my experience with Alex. And she's also saying, read Alice's post about the situation first. If you haven't already, we've already checked that out. It's in the previous video. And it seems that a lot of people have something against her. Like she did something in the past that wasn't exactly right. She helped spread a lie about someone. So Wavy Web Surf is saying, LMAO, you helped spread those Slazo allegations. Don't try to slink out of that. You heard a rumor did zero vetting and went with it. Take some accountability for what happened, you co-signed that false story. And this is something that happened years ago, there was a YouTuber called Slazo who was accused of something horrible and he wasn't actually guilty. So I don't know, I guess this woman uh, lies sometimes or just does things without doing research, I don't know if this affects her allegation. I mean, honestly, we've already seen that Alex is a pretty horrible human being if we trust the first delegation, but uh, yeah, just keep that in mind. Somebody else is saying, innocent people don't stay silent for this long. So a lot of exclamation marks here, they are angry. Yeah, sure, you did nothing wrong yourself. People are really mad at her. Didn't the two of you collaborate on accusing Slazo? Yeah, just for this video, maybe we can forget about what she did in the past, because, uh, this is about Alex. My experience with I'm Alex. Though we never confirmed it to the public, because I personally like keeping my relationships private, unlike a lot of social media content creators. I think that's smart, I don't think everybody has to know what you did and who you were with uh, last Wednesday or Thursday or something. I dated Alex from June 2017 till March 2018. It was the most toxic relationship I've ever been in, and I was lucky to get out of it when I did. Okay, well, uh, that's much better than reading uh, I was lucky to get out of it alive or something like that. Judging by some previous clips of this guy, I would not be surprised if this was the actual sentence. Sorry if I can't talk, it's just incredibly hot here, like my brain is melting or something. When we were dating, uh, though he was from England and I lived in America, we were pretty much never apart for longer than a week. We stayed in Europe for a couple of months, uh, then went to America for six months. He couldn't stay six months straight due to visa implications, so he stayed three months. Flew back to England for a few days, then came back to America for another three months. So yeah, it looks like... According to her, they actually, like, officially dated, they were in a relationship, like, they spent a lot of time together. After six months was over and he couldn't come to America again for a while due to visa requirements, we spent some time away from each other. And during that time, with help of my friends, I came to the realization that I was in the worst and most toxic relationship I had ever been in, and I had to get out. Okay, so it looks like she didn't realize what type of relationship she was in and then her friends had to tell her like what's going on, like yo, wake up, this is some toxic behavior. It started out great, as they always do. Especially with these toxic relationships, I mean, when a guy is like really toxic, he's usually gonna try to hide it, you know, so that he could get closer to you. That's why you should always date people who are actually toxic on the first date, uh, I'm just kidding, don't do that. J just go for the person who uh, isn't toxic at all, that's the best option. The honeymoon phase, as they call it, but as time went on, things just got worse and worse. I was fortunate to get out when I did, but reading all the new information that's come out, he's clearly gotten worse. So as you can tell, they dated from 2017 to 2018, that was before the girl from the previous vid, so it looks like this guy evolved, or should I say de-evolved, into some demonic spawn. 
You probably reached the final form of the toxic edgelord boyfriend right now. During the relationship, he made me feel insane. Like I wasn't myself anymore. It never felt like he listened to me. I always felt belittled and inferior. I wonder if he also called her a dog. Just lay down like a good f dog. Just the usual b boy control strategies, am I right? They never work. Because every girl, every person always wants to feel respected like a normal human being. Whenever we recorded videos together, he would constantly talk over me and never let me have my moment. Shut up, woman. Just send her to the kitchen. Bro, why is she even recording a video with you? Ah, uh, that's a joke, that's sarcasm. Most of the time, when I had problems, he always somehow made it about himself. Or talked about his own issues. Yeah, that does sound like some huge narcissism. Or talked about his own issues. He would get stressed over his YouTube channel constantly and complain about uploading as if it was the hardest job on the planet and no one had it harder than him. Jesus. A YouTuber complaining. I'm sick of it, okay? As a YouTuber, I'm sick of YouTubers complaining. And Twitch streamers, okay? Twitch streamers complaining, that's even worse than YouTubers complaining. Bro, go do something hard in your life, it will humble you real quick. His classic line was, I can't catch a f break. If we ever had a disagreement, he would also sometimes allude to the possibility of k himself over minor conflicts as a threat. So I couldn't continue with the conversation. Oh yeah, that's the best way to solve an argument, am I right? But seriously, this is just some vile manipulation. Imagine someone loving you, and then you threatening them that you will take yourself away like they f love you. I can't catch a f break from all the narcissism on social media, man. It was nearly impossible to give him any kind of criticism because it was like adding to the pile of minor issues that he had already blown far out of proportion in his head. Another thing he did was spin his own narrative and twist words. He didn't just do this in the relationship, but he did this in his work and with his friends. We already figured out that he uh, doesn't think highly of his friends. I mean, in some of those previous videos and uh, messages, he called his friends and his girl or ex-girlfriend words. It was the main reason why many people stopped talking to him, because we started to realize that uh, when there was even the smallest amount of drama and he heard about it, he would make sure to involve himself, even if the subject had absolutely nothing to do with him, and he would just make everything so much worse. Drama queen. For example, the Slazo situation. Though it was never said in the original statements by Shay, he somehow came to the conclusion that it was re 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 and everyone else got the blame for saying his words. Somehow the situation went from being guilty of being a bad boyfriend to all of a sudden, he's a rest. Yeah, I really don't understand. I mean, bad accusations, you really gotta be careful with that stuff. You could ruin someone's life, because that Slazo guy, he was actually innocent. That's why I'm saying, I mean, these are also just allegations, although we do have some video proof, kind of pointing into the direction that he is a pretty horrible person, but it's still just an allegation, I guess. This was the final nail in the coffin, and I cut all contact with him after that. During our relationship, I bought him and I matching Alex and Annie bracelets for Valentine's Day. Because I was like, oh neat, a company with a both our names. And she even linked the actual bracelet, as you can tell, it's literally called Alex plus Annie. You can see him pressing the heart on the bracelet to his lips in his Back to Nothing video, which he has since taken down from his channel, but there is an archived video here. I would start at 4 minutes, I'll also attach the video here, in case the link gets removed. Hello everyone, I'm Alex, and welcome back to another video, hopefully you guys are doing well. Bro sounds uh, very congested, or like he was crying or something. He also looks so pure and vulnerable. Is this a manipulation tactic? Um, I'm trying to make this about doing any uh, textbook YouTube YouTube stuff, but you're just gonna have to bear with the sighing and uh, the offhanded looks around the camera, I guess. Bro's clean shaved and he's wearing pink and white, and he sounds like he's crying. 
Let me just read the definition of a vulnerable narcissist. I'm not accusing him of anything, I just think that this is kind of relevant. A vulnerable narcissist describes someone who is hypersensitive to rejection and extremely self-conscious. They tend to be insecure as well. They become angry or offended when not put on a pedestal. A person with vulnerable narcissism is highly sensitive to criticism. And I did not use a proper microphone. So, you know, ticking off everything on <laughs> YouTube manipulation. Why does you look like a cute angel baby boy? Like, what's up with these colors? Does he normally dress like this? I've never watched this guy before the drama, okay? I mean, I've seen him be a completely unhinged psychopath. W what's up with him looking naive like this and pure? Bro just goes from like a wholesome, pure angel to an absolute destroyer of worlds or something like that. Maybe that's his problem, you know? Maybe he needs to like find his normal center personality or something. I think the worst part is that about two months ago, I, I, for the first time in a year, I felt like I was truly happy. You know, I, I feel punished for wanting, ever wanting to, to do more, ever thinking that I could, ever believing in myself, you know. Right, so that's the necklace she's talking about. Bro's just crying on social media, I mean, there's nothing wrong with crying, but like, do you need to do it in front of everyone? No, you don't. Deal with your problems by yourself and with the people involved in the problem, okay? Cause this is just pointless attention seeking, to be honest. Anyway, bro's yapping about his emotions, but uh, let's get uh, back to the accusation. This video was released as a response to me breaking up with him, okay? I can see, I can see what happened here, uh, so it seems like this girl shattered his ego. I mean, imagine being like so full of yourself and then somebody breaks up with you. Not you with them, okay? You wouldn't be able to cope, right, in this narcissistic world. He uploaded this video after I stopped talking to him as a way of trying to guilt me into replying to him. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. He did to me what he has done in his relationship with Alice, where he would fly off the handle and get mad, then act all apologetic and sad to try to get me to feel sorry for him and forgive everything he has said and done. Yeah, I really don't understand if he has any mental health issues. It seems like he may have... Lastly, the only time he ever laid a finger on me was when he grabbed me as I was trying to run away from a conflict. Okay. We were trying to record a YouTube video together and he was getting frustrated at having to restart the recording multiple times. He started shouting and beating his fist on the table. Ah, man-child much? Even going as far as to break his microphone very emotionally stable i was scared so i got up to leave the room which is when he grabbed my arm to physically stop me i remember saying you grabbed my arm several times in shock as if to say who the f would ever grab someone like that yeah just no one sane once again, I was fortunate that uh, that was the only time something like that ever happened. I got out before it got even worse, as it clearly has with the new information that's come out. It saddens me that it's all come this far. I wished Alice the best privately and it breaks my heart to have seen all the things she had gone through. I hope Alice's and my story show you what he was really like behind the scenes. A super wholesome, clean, sensitive, nice guy for all of us, and an actual dark, menacing monster for the ones who actually know him. Isn't that crazy? If you're in an abusive relationship, please get out now. You can't fix them. Yeah, that's a good message to end this video on. Yeah, don't try to fix your toxic partner, just leave, okay? You might be able to help each other slightly, but that's nothing to do with fixing them. If they're broken, they need to heal, they need to get the help they need. And you are not their mommy, daddy, therapist figure, whatever, that's not your responsibility. 
So that's it for this video, it definitely makes sense that this is what was going on before he finally evolved into his uh, final demonic form or something like that. Again, hope this guy gets the help that he clearly needs and the situation resolves. If you liked this video, subscribe and click the bell button to get notified whenever I upload. See you in the next one, peace out.